Every church needs to communicate what it stands for and where it sees itself in the future. Busy calendars, events, and promoting small groups is not enough to keep your church moving forward. However, providing meaning, direction, and context can. Creating a clear and compelling vision statement can help convey the calling of your ministry and invite others to be a part of it too. Churches use vision statements and other critical culture building pieces of communication to articulate why they exist, what they want to accomplish, and how they function to do so. Hey, this is Evan from dailychristianhelp.com where we help leaders gain confidence and build dependable teams. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how to write a compelling vision statement in six steps. First, let's talk about what should be in a vision statement for your church. The vision statement defines the spiritual purpose and aspirations of your church. It articulates how you desire to function in the future and summarizes why you exist. There are three things that your church vision statement should communicate. It should describe an idealized picture of the future. It should use core values to shape your target goal, and it should communicate who you exist to serve and reach. There's another element that's relevant to forming your church vision statement, and that's the community that you live and serve in. For example, you want to consider things like, has your church been a staple in the community for a long number of years? Are you in a college town where you see yourself as a spiritual home for those who have to come and go throughout the year? Or maybe your church envisions and sees itself as an organization that reaches people in person and online offering engaging and dynamic experiences that are available not just in person, but also in the digital space too. Considering these types of things will help you shape a vision statement concerning where your church intends to move into the future. And obviously it will detail why your church exists to help create and form Jesus followers. There's one more thing before we get into the six steps, and that's for you to consider what makes your church unique. Crafting a meaningful and concise vision statement for your church means also being aware of your unique gifting and calling. Are there specific areas where your church seems to provide clear leadership? Is it gifted to minister to the next generation? Or do you have a voice within the businesses of your community? Or maybe your church has a tremendous track record of community service throughout the years. Being aware and noting these types of characteristics will help you and your team formalize an accurate and hopeful vision statement. Eric Geiger shares three factors that makes a church unique the local community it exists in, passionate leadership, and the congregation itself. A church vision statement should speak to its community, its giftings, and the people it desires to continue reaching in the future. Now let's talk about step-by-step -step how to write a vision statement for your church. Step one is you wanna involve the leadership team. Be sure to involve key leadership roles and positions, and especially the lead pastor. It can be tempting to allow others to craft the message or undervalue the importance of creating a vision statement without keen oversight from the pastor and other influential leaders. Involving the most essential and key leaders in this process will help ensure that communication is consistent from the top down. Step two is to evaluate the messages that you already communicate. Ask each member within your leadership team that's a part of helping to create the vision statement to make a list of the top three messages that they already see being consistently communicated through your church leadership. What messages does your church and your leaders consistently come back to and can you use these to craft and clarify your vision statement? Step three is to consider the needs that your church focuses on serving. How does your church serve the needs of its community or even the broader world for that matter? Jot down a few notes about the needs that are close to your church's heart and that you seem to consistently fulfill and help meet. Step four is to discuss the unique value that your church seems to add to the body of Christ. Some churches have a unique gifting to teach or to lead worship. Others are evangelistic or tend to equip and send out missionaries. Is your church heavily involved in church planting or in training pastors? Exploring and answering these types of questions will provide insight into how your church may want to move forward into the future. The unique contribution that your church makes into the body of Christ can be a good indicator of the areas your church can support and focus on with strong vision. Step five is to craft several vision statements as first drafts. Brainstorm keywords that are associated with your church and identify and jot down words that are associated with the characteristics of your church. And then use the following guidelines to begin crafting the initial rough drafts of your vision statement. Begin formulating sentences that answer the following questions. How can you express the type of church you want to be in the future? Second, how can you convey and include the core values that are central to your church? 
And then third, can someone who does not go to your church understand who it serves and desires to reach? The idea is to get several statements to choose from and then revise and refine them together as a team. Which leads us to the sixth step, which is refining your vision statement. A good vision statement is concise, memorable, and repeatable. To help with this revision process, ask yourself the following questions. Can an outsider understand the vision that we hope to accomplish? Does the vision statement accurately reflect the church's role in the community and our values? Can others easily remember and share the statement with their friends? Your team can craft a vision statement that can align the direction of your church and compel your congregation to action. But before we wrap this up, let's note some of the subtle differences between a vision statement and a mission statement. Church vision statements express what it hopes to become in the future to serve the greater good of the congregants and the community. In contrast, the mission statement focuses on the present and how it gets work done in order to move towards the vision statement. The mission statement should accompany the vision statement and clarifying both is essential. If you need help writing a mission statement, I'll leave a link in the card above and in the description about how to write a church mission statement as a leadership team. Vision statements are helpful tools that you and your team can use to move your church forward. When writing church vision statements, remember it should convey how you envision your church in the future and describe the unique calling of your ministry to meet the needs of its community. Hey, let me know in the comments which tips you found the most helpful and if there's any that you would add to. And for more leadership help, check out the free guide to help you overcome decision fatigue and empower your team to lead to make quality decisions. Hey, if this video helped you, be sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. This is Evan from dailychristianhelp.com and we'll see you on the next one.